This is The Randy Rhodes Show on 960 KNEW and online at 960KNEW.com. Hi there, Republicans. It's us again. The wind beneath your wings at Republican Rehab. Here's the thing about recovery, friends. You have to stay away from the people who will tempt you to resume all your worst behaviors. Well, we found out you just spent the past week hanging out with these guys. This is America. (laughs) Our president should be American, not Muslim. We know what you're doing here. We believe in Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. You call it appealing to the base. We call it relapsing. You know what happens when you're around these people. You start acting like them. And then you try to win their approval in some truly pathetic displays. I'm learning to say y'all, and, and uh, I, know, I like grits, and the things are strange things are happening to me. Sad. Very, very sad. I know your excuse. Hey, they were holding a primary. I, I just dropped in. I can always become more moderate if I have to, somewhere down the road, right? Wrong. You have to watch the warning signs. And that means getting the hell out of there anytime you hear sentences like, oh, I don't know, this. We're in the state of Mississippi. (laughs) Uh Uh-huh. You should have learned a long time ago, what happens in the Deep South doesn't stay in the Deep South. Down there, you do and say things that will have consequences later when you're trying to fit in with normal society. You know what they say. The South will rise again. And it'll happen when you least expect it. Don't let it. Call us. We're still here, patiently, waiting. We're Republican Rehab. What a snob. <laughs> Duffy, you're such a snob with your rehabilitation and your fancy 12-step programs. We like the old days, darling, when we didn't have no antibiotics. People died of syphilis. <laughs> There were no telephones. We just told a woman. <laughs> She'd tell everybody. It's the South. It's, uh, you know, it's the South. And uh, if you ask me, this is now a two-person race. And, and, and what's crazy about it is what we're left with is pretty much Romney and Santorum, who is one guy who is obsessed with the idea that a fetus is a person and a guy who is obsessed by the idea that a corporation is a person. How strange. Does that make Mitt Romney a murderer? Let Detroit go bankrupt. Uh, not a murderer, but, uh, yeah, well, I mean, if they went bankrupt, then they wouldn't exist in, in, in the corporate uh, entity form, would they? No, I, I don't know what to, to think. But, you know, after every stinging rebuke that has been, you know, leveled upon Mitt Romney, all he's got left to argue with us about is delegate math. Now, Apparently, he will do anything, anything at all, except talk about his actual economic policies. And I will say that listening to him argue delegate math is a whole lot better than listening to him sing. Above the fruited plain. Oh, my God. 